Changemakers, brought to you by Adapt Community Network, empowering people through innovative solutions one person at a time. We change. It was a go-to magazine for women in the late 90s and also in early 2000. The bold letters and the women who grace the front page and inside all you wanted to know about relationships, celebrities, health, and fashion. In charge of it all for 14 years was Kate White. It was the most fabulous job in the world, the most delicious, fun 14 years, and I got to take it to number one on the newsstand and keep it there. How did you figure out how to keep it number one? Because I think that's it's very difficult. Unlike most editors in my company, I did a ton of research. Mm -hmm. I did uh, focus groups, and I put that information together, and I really used it, and I, I felt I could see trends that way. I think w when I hit over the two million mark with the with Beyonce cover and a Molly Sims cover and Rihanna. Those were just precious moments. <laughs> Let's not forget the Cosmo closet. Leaving the Cosmo beauty closet was one of the saddest things that ever <laughs> happened to me. But after 14 years, White says it was time to move on. I was headed towards my 60s and I thought, I'm not going to have another chance maybe to do what I want to do and have a, a, a bit of freedom and have that entrepreneurial spirit. She left Cosmo with eight mysteries written and has gone on to write several more. I just handed in another mystery, my 13th, and starting started the the 14th yesterday. You wrote a book that I told you was very pivotal when I, my first year in television, really. I, I read that book. Why good girls don't get ahead, but gutsy girls do. I think that, you know, when I was doing the gut, original gutsy girl book, that was 23 years ago, and, mm -hmm. and I still see women hesitating. They think, well, I need to be tapped for a promotion, or if they want me to do it, they'll ask. They'll let me you know. have to go for it. And that's one of the messages she continues to drive home when speaking to women at conferences conferences like those hosted by New York Women in Communications. They do such a great job of welcoming in women to the industry mm -hmm. and trying to give them the tools they need, the importance of knowing your personal brand. I recommend that to every woman. Look, have a plan B, side hustle, whatever you want to call it, back pocket idea.